What's up gamers? This is that PlayStation Gamer coming to you guys with a brand new video. Yes, I probably sound better now because I have a brand new microphone. And yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about Clerks 3. I definitely got some PlayStation videos coming up soon. But I just recently watched this movie last night and I just want to talk about it real quick because I'm kind of one of those people that likes to have their opinion out there because I am such a connoisseur. So... First off, I want to talk about why I like some of Kevin Smith's previous movies. You know, movies like Clerks, Dogma, Chase and Amy, freaking Mallrats. Like, most of his career in the 90s and early 2000s. And even like Clerks 2, which... Eh, Clerks 2 was kind of... It's a little off, if I'm being honest. Not like it's off in a bad way, it's just like... You could definitely tell this is him kind of like coming to, you know, kind of have like a, almost a midlife crisis. But still a good movie. I like the ending. And I was like, yeah, that's the perfect ending for Randall and Dante if they ever choose not to come back. And yeah, even like movies like Red State, I was a fan of. Like, I actually thought Red State was a very good piece of submersive, you know, media because... It actually learned how to trick the audience into thinking one thing about this movie without even really doing it. It was like, I don't know how to describe Red State. It's one of those movies you have to see. Tusk is bad. That th There was one after with his uh, daughter I didn't see. Jay and, Sa Jay and Silent B Sa Bob reboot was pretty freaking funny. And it had a couple of heartfelt moments, but... It was also a reboot of a movie that was very self-aware, so it's a him. It, it, it has its high points, it has its low points, just like, you know, most movies do. So, when they announced Clerks 3, I was kind of excited, because I was like, oh man, Clerks 3, we're going to see Randall, we're going to see Dante, we're going to see Elias, we're going to see all these characters again, and we're going to see, it was just nice to see these guys who are, you know, yeah, they're old as hell, but you know what, they can still perform really well. And this is the thing I want to talk about here. The Dante and Randall really have good chemistry still to this day. That their actors, Jeff and Brian, are just phenomenal. They, it feels like they never once stop acting. They never stop acting together. And that's kind of crazy because these guys haven't done a movie in a long time with each other. But like Randall is still funny. He's still sharp with as ever. Dante is still kind of the guy who's... A bit of a pacifist, but he is, like, because he's older now, he's got a little bit more edge to him. So I was like, yeah, it's actually kind of nice. See, he, he's cracking jokes with Randall instead of being the butt of jokes. But this movie also, besides being funny, it generally made me feel like it was a movie about a man who was coming very much to terms with his, mor his own morality. Like, there are... the. the because I'm going to give you the synopsis here real quick. Randall has a heart attack and he decides he wants to make a movie. Now, Randall's heart attack weirdly, you know, mirrors Kevin Smith's heart attack. Like, if you guys ever heard the story, he essentially didn't even know he was having a heart attack. He just thought he was having a breathing problem. Like, oh, I think I got some asthma or something. Straight up, it's exactly what happens to Randall. But what makes it so... I guess what makes it different is that Randall has the epiphany of, oh, I want to make movies, and Kevin Smith had the epiphany, oh, I need to eat healthier. <laughs> but I really like Randall in this movie for the most part because you start seeing him like kind of taking things a little bit more serious. He's not just, you know, the slacker he always was. I mean, he still is to a point. But when it comes to this film, he's like putting everything into it. And Dante... We'll get, without going to spoilers, it he's going through a lot. And the quick stop is kind of a reminder of his past and not exactly in the best way. And this movie, man, I'm telling you, you you're going to get a box of tissues if you're a Kevin Smith fan like I am. If you've been paying attention to his career, if you've been paying attention to what he's done, you know, all his previous films. Because this is like, this movie hits hard. It, it really hits hard. It, it like, I was a mess. You got, I talk about like how like the last of us made me cry. This movie, I felt like it kind of broke my heart. And like, that's what most people who like the movie say. It's like, it kind of breaks your heart in that third act. And it's like, damn, but it's also 
it's still got a lot of, you know, jokes. It's still got a lot of positive vibes for the most part. I, I still love the fact that Silent Bob and Jay have a dispensary that used to be the video store. And Randall lives between the video store and the quick stop. It's just like, <laughs> I don't know why. I, I just got to kind of kick out of that. Like, Randall can't leave Jay and Silent Bob. And he can't leave the quick stop either. Because, <laughs> well, he's a part owner. If you're familiar with the end of Clerks 2. So, overall, my thoughts are this. While this movie does have problems, the second act kind of lingers at times. But it still got... That's like where a lot of laughs came out of. And there was a lot of cameos. And that's also when they start hinting like maybe there's a deeper story going on here. And I really like the fact that they got some of the old actors to come back. I mean, obviously, Kevin Smith's going to get his wife in there. Cause, well, guess what? She's married to him. But it was just nice to see like Veronica come back. And I think like a couple other... Uh, previous actors came back. It was, it was so cool to see like the them actually kind of this meta ness to it. Where obviously, like I said, they're making the Clerks movie, but like there's a moment where Son of Bob is like, you know, he's just looking around with this device, and he's like, wait, why are why would we shoot this on black? Then Son of Bob talks. And he's like, well, because the light in here is all fucked up, and plus this gives the, like people. A, preconceived notion they're actually watching it from like a video cam a security camera that no they can't see or something like that i'm like huh that's a lazy that's a good excuse for because it's low it's it makes the budget lower because <laughs> if you don't know that's actually why clerks one is shot in black and white so yeah i could recommend this movie if you are a clerks fan if you pay attention to kevin smith but if you're not a fan of kevin smith or clerks I don't think you're going to get the mileage like I got out of this. Because like I said, I've been paying attention to stuff for a long time. So it like a lot of the extra jokes really got to me. And I was like, <laughs> but yeah, I still recommend it. I think it's a good film. I think it's probably one of its best. Definitely in my top three. Uh, if, if I had to have a top three, it's going to go Clerks. It's going to go Chasing Amy. And it's going to go Clerks 3. So until next time, guys, this is That PlayStation Gamer signing out. Hoping you all have a good day. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that YouTube algorithm. Have a good day.